Hello dear students, right now we are going to learn about shape tool and the pencil tool. So basically what is use of shape tool? So if you need to, if you need to create some shapes and uh, if you draw some kind of uh, shapes in your document, but if you need to turn that paint into a shape, in that case you have to use the shape tool. Okay. So you can see here that we got the shape tool in here and once you will click the shape tool, you will be able to draw some kind of shape. So as an example, let me draw a uh, some kind of triangle, but it's not really looks good. But if I release my mouse click, it will turn into a triangle shape. Okay, so let me let me draw some kind of rounded circle or you can consider this thing as an ellipse and you can see that i got a perfect rounded shape and now let me let me draw some kind of shape and now you can see that we got the oval shape and let me draw a square and you can see we got a square shape so this is this is the simple use of shape tool so if you just draw any shape it will make a perfect shape for you so this is really an amazing things so let me select all these things and let me press delete button for my keyboard now let me show you how you will use the pencil tool so for having the pencil tool you have to right click with your mouse inside the shape tool then you will have this pencil tool or the shortcut key for pencil tool is N, N for Netherland. Okay, so with the use of pencil tool, you will be able to draw anything else. But you cannot, you cannot make the similarities with the brush tool and the pencil tool because pencil tool is different things. So let me, I'll let me draw a fish here. Okay, so you just seen this pencil is using for drawing and for making some paths. So whatever you need to draw or you for making some lines, you will be able to um, draw any uh, images, some kind of flowers, fish or any other things or for drawing any kind of line, you will be able to use this pencil tool. And with the help of pencil tool, these things is possible to create like you can you can make some kind of car Okay, this is just a uh, just a simple for drawing a card. Okay, so this is how you will use the um, you will use the pen tool. And if you need to increase the stroke or if you need to change the color, in that case, you just need to draw some shape first. Then you have to you have to increase the stroke. So if you increase the stroke, you will have the output in here so um and if you need to change the color of the stroke you can change it so as an example i'm going to pick this uh, green color as well and now you can see i have created a successfully uh i mean a thick shape for with the use of pencil tool okay so let me draw another so this is how you will use the pencil tool for making some kind of shapes or making some lines or paths Hello dear students, right now we are going to learn about the smooth tool, path eraser tool and joint tool. Okay, so let's learn from the beginning. So you can see this is our uh, shape tool and from there I am going to use this pencil tool. And I want to increase the stroke for 20 point and I want to change the color. So as an example, I am going to pick this orange color. And now let me draw some lines. Okay, this is a line and
Okay, so I have created some lines in here. Now, let me use this selection tool and let me select this first line, okay? So I have selected this first line and now I need to use the smooth tool. So for having the smooth tool, you just have to right click with your mouse on the shape tool or pencil tool, then you will have this smooth tool. So you can see we have very strong corner in here, but if you need to make these things very smoothly, in that case, you need to, you need to draw a line here and you can see now it really looks good and the sharpness of the corner is decreasing, okay? So you can see the corner is now really, it looks good and it's really uh, make the corner smooth. So let me do for the another, Okay, so you, you have to make sure that you have used the um, mouse cursor in two angles, okay? Then you will have these things very smoothly. So let me make smooth for this one. So I am pulling for left side, right side. Okay, this corner will also now turn into smooths. Okay. Okay, looks really good. So let me do uh, for the, the second one. And you know, it's very easy. So I only have issue with this one. Okay, so for making smooth, you have to, you have to pull or you have to uh, draw the smoothness in two ways, in left side or in right side. And if you work with the vertical position, in that case, you have to pull at uh, top and the bottom side. Okay, let me select the second one and let me make this mode for this corner. Okay, cool. Uh oh. Okay, so we have created successfully a, a smooth corner for every angle and this is the use of the smooth tool by uh, Adobe Illustrator. Now we're going to learn about the path eraser tool. So let me use the selection tool and let me select this area. And you can see, you can see we have some paths in here. And if you, if we use this path eraser tool then you will you will have the preview of path so this is the path and this is a path so if you need to erase any specific area from each path to another path in that case you have to use this path eraser tool okay so let me delay this one from here to here and you can see that i have erased these things so let me delete from here to here okay and make sure that the back part of this pencil are using for drawing, okay? Okay, so our um, path is removed. Let me delete this one. Let me delete this one. Okay, so this is how you will delete or erase the path of any line or from any object or subject or shape in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so let me select all these things and let me delete it. So finally, what the things is left, the things left is join tool. But before using the join tool, I want to use the pencil tool. So I'm using the pencil tool and I'm creating a drawing, a triangle. Okay, but you can see the triangle is not connected here. And let me draw a hard shape. Okay. So, if you need to, if you need to join these things automatically, in that case, you have to use the join tool. Let me show you how this tool is working. You have to right click with your mouse, then you will have this join tool option. Okay. So, let me select this area where you want to join at first you need to select these things now you have to use the join tool let me select this area and now you can see that the corner is joined 
So let me use the selection tool and now let me select this areas. Okay, and now let me use the join tool and let me draw here. And you can see that the um, empty space are now joined. So this is how you will use the join tool in Adobe Illustrator for joining any kind of shapes or any object or subject. Hello dear students, right now we are going to learn about eraser tool, scissor tool and knife tool. So basically all these three tools are using for slicing, splitting, erasing, removing for all the stuff. So let's take a look how these things are working on Adobe Illustrator. So let's learn about the eraser tool. So you can see here this is called eraser tool and for erasing anything else you can use this eraser tool as well and one more thing i need to tell you the shortcut key of eraser tool is shift e e for elephant so let me show you how these things is working so therefore i want to i want to right click with my mouse in rectangle tool and i want to use this ellipse tool okay and uh instead of white i want to use a, a red color for fill color and let me draw a round circle okay so i have created a round circle now if you need to er erase any part from this circle you can use this eraser tool so let me use this eraser tool and let me let me erase this area so you can see i have erased all these things and let me erase it here let me erase it here let me erase it here Okay, so all these things are erased. And if you need to, if you need to erase, especially uh, for a specific area in that case, uh, you need to use your mouse and you have to press, hold and move your mouse where you want to erase the area. And for increasing the eraser tool's brush size, you have to press the closing curly bracket or third bracket. Okay, so let me erase these areas. So I hope you got the idea how this thing is working. So you can see I already erased this area and now if you use this selection tool and if you select this in a specific part, you will be able to separate these things from the circle. Okay, let me double click at my top part and let me move or let me separate these things. So here is another, here is another and here is the another. So this is how this eraser tools is working in Adobe Illustrator. So let me select all these areas, all the stops, and let me delete it. Okay, now let me uh, let me use the uh, rectangle tools for creating a rectangle shape. So let me create a rectangle shape. So this is my red fill color, and I want to create an another. Uh, let me draw. And another and for the second one i want to change it for the green color for the fill color okay now we're going to learn about the scissor tool so the scissor tool is basically using for slicing okay let me use this selection tool and let me select the first one and for applying the scissor tool you have to right click with your mouse in the eraser tool then you will have this scissor tool and the shortcut key for scissor tool is c c for canada Okay, so where you want to slice inside this uh, rectangle shape, you have to, you have to select the path. So I want to click my first click in here and I want to click my second click in here. That means this part or this top right angle or corner is sliced. That means it's separated from the rectangle shape so if you use this selection tool and if you select here you can see we have separated this area so let me select the second one and let me slice in a large area so i'm selecting here and i'm selecting here so these two paths i sliced from here and let me use this selection tool and let me make a separation so i hope you got the idea how these scissor tools is working for slicing any elements or any shapes in Adobe Illustrator. 
Okay, right now we will learn about the knife tool, but before learning the knife tool, I need to delete all these tabs. So I have selected all these areas and I'm pressing delete button from my keyboard. Okay, I'm taking the rectangle tool once again for making a rectangle shape and I'm taking the ellipse tool for making a round circle and instead of green for the ellipse shape, I'm using this purple color. Okay, now I want to use the knife tool. A knife tool is totally using for splitting the part, okay? So let me right click with my mouse and then you will have this knife tool. So I want to split this circle and I want to make it in two parts. Therefore, what you have to do, you just have to draw a line here. Okay, you just seen that a line is created and if you use the selection tool and if you select the top part, you can see I have separated the circle. Okay, now let me select the, let me select this rectangle shape. So I have to double click in this rectangle shape and again I am selecting this knife tool and I am slicing a line in the middle. And now if you use the selection tool and if you select the second part, you have to double click here, then you can see that I have separated the box. So this is how for making slice or for making a split of any shapes in Adobe Illustrator, you can use this knife tool. So for erasing any part, you have to use this eraser tool. Let me erase it. For slicing, you have to use scissor tool. Let me show you once again. Okay. And for slicing, you have to use this knife tool. Okay. So you just um, you just learn how these things is working. But one things you need to know when you will work with any specific subject, you have to make sure that you have selected the area. Otherwise, you won't be able to um, separate um, the shapes that you have sliced. Okay. So I hope you learned how these things is working. So I'm going to see you in our next lesson. Hello, dear students. Right now we are going to learn about the rotate tool. So, what is the use of rotate tool? Actually, a rotate tool is using for rotation. Okay, let me show you in details. So, let me use a polygon tool and let me draw a polygon shape. And let me use the red color for fill color and let me increase the point. And one more thing, um, instead of number of points if you need to decrease the polygons in that case let me use for six sides okay and let me click okay so you can see we have we have um, got a polygon shape so if you need to rotate these things you have to use this rotate tool and the shortcut key is r r for romania Okay, so you have to use this rotate tool and make sure that you have using the center point. And now you can move the pointer at anywhere. Okay, so I hope you got the idea. But you have to make sure that this main point or this keyframe is placed at the center. Okay, but this rotate tool has some interesting uses. Let me show you how this thing is working. Um, let me delete all these stops. Let me draw a flower and therefore instead of polygon tool, I want to use this ellipse tool. And let me draw a circle here. And then I need to draw the first petal. But instead of red fill color, I want to use yellow fill color. Okay, now let me press shift button using the selection tool. Let me press shift button and let me select these two things. Okay, so we have selected the uh, red circle as well as the yellow circle. 
Now, let me use this rooted tool. And once you will click the rotate tool, you will have this pointer. So you have to move this pointer, but before that, you need to press Alter button and you need to press the pointer at center. Then you have you will get this rotation settings. From there, you need to type 360 degree. This 360 means it will cover entire round circle. Then how many petals will be available? You need to uh, you need to declare these things. So you need to type 360 by hello dear students right now we're going to learn about a reflect tool in adobe illustrator so let's directly jump to our main learning point for learning reflect tool i want to open an image from our exercise file so here is the file menu here is the open option and from our exercise file you can see that we have lion face image so you just have to select it and you have to click open okay so you can see that the lion face image seems quite smaller so using the selection tool let me increase the size so you just have to pull the anchor point okay now it looks really good you can see this is an image of half lion face but it's not full lion face but if you can use the reflect tool in that case you can have the same things at this right side as well and this is the main magic of reflect tool so let me show you how these things is working so make sure that you have select this uh, lion face then you have to click or you have to right click with your mouse then you will have this reflect tool and the shortcut key for reflect tool is o o for orange then you have to press alter button from your keyboard and then you have to move this this center point or the main point reflect point and you have to release this point at here at the middle of the edge then you have to release it then you will have these settings and make sure that you have used this 90 degree and then you have to click copy so let me click copy so let me use this selection tool so you can see the magic we only had the left part but with the use of reflect tool we got the right part and now it's turned into a complete face of lion so i hope you got the idea how this reflect things is working so reflect tool is basically using for reflecting the same things okay so this is the very simple process of using a reflect tool in adobe illustrator hello dear students right now we will learn about the scale tool share tool and the reshape tool so let's directly jump to our main learning lesson so i want to i want to use this rectangle tool for creating a rectangle shape so uh, let me draw a shape and let me use a fill color like i want to use this blue fill color and now if you use this selection tool and if you need to increase the tool at once in every side like in top left bottom and right will it be possible at once the answer is no let me show you i am pulling this anchor point so what is ultimately happening only at top and in right side is increasing but it is not increasing in bottom and left side okay so if you need to scale all these things at once in that case you have to you have to use the scale tool and you can see this is our scale tool and the shortcut key of scale tool is s and s for singapore okay so if you use this scale tool and if you place your mouse cursor at any anchor point and if you pull at any side you can see along with top left top right left bottom i mean in every side is increasing okay but if you use only this selection tool in that case it will not be possible to do these things so let me scale these things and let me use this selection tool and I'm placing it here and let me let me copy some shapes like uh, 
I need to copy uh, for more four times. Therefore, I'm pressing Ultra button and I'm copying here. I'm copying here and here. Okay, so now let me select all these things and I want to increase the size of four this shape at ohms therefore you have to use this scale tool and you have to press alter button from your keyboard and you need to click this center point okay now where you want to increase the size suppose you need to increase the uniform base and instead of 22 percent i want to i want to write for 200 percent okay so once it's done, you just have to click OK. And now you can see all these four square shape have increased in size using this scale tool. Okay, so I hope you got the idea how this scale tools is working. Now I want to show you how to use the share tool. Let me let me draw a rectangle shape. And if you need to, if you need to um, move some angle or change the angle of this uh, shape, or if you need to move some in work position, in that case, you have to right click with your mouse. Then uh, you have to right click with your mouse inside the scale tool. Then you will have this share tool. So you have to select this one. And for squeezing, you have to place your mouse cursor to the anchor point. And then if you move a little, then you can see here is the output okay so you can also do in this way you can move in this way okay So I hope you got the idea how this share tool is working. Let me, let me delay this share tool. And now I want to show you about the use of reshape tool. So let me, let me use this line tool for drawing a line. Okay, so I am pressing shift button for having a straight line. And now let me right click with my mouse inside the share tool or scale tool. Then I will have this reshape tool. And instead of straight line if you need to if you need to move at top or at right or if you need to do some custom shape in that case you can move the pointer in here okay now it seems that it's bended or seems that it's compiled with the arc shape so this is basically a shape of arc but if you need to if you need to do some customization suppose you need to make some customization with this specific specific part if you need to move with the specific part okay so with this reshape tool you will be able to make any changes of a line tool and if you need to move at right side or top side you will be able to do the same things okay so this is how you will use the reshape tool in adobe illustrator for reshaping any lines or any subject or object in adobe illustrator hello dear students right now we will learn with some a couple of tools and all these tools are about um, width tool pocket tool Blood tool, trill tool, all these things we are going to learn right now. Okay, so uh, let me let me use this pencil tool and let me uh, draw a line and let me increase the stroke. Okay, so we have used our forty three point four stroke and I want to use this mm, green color. Uh, Deep green looks good and now you can see that in our starting point and an ending point we have the straight line but i don't want to use this straight lines i want to i want to change these things i need to somewhere i need to
to increase the radius somewhere i need to squeeze in this line so how you will do that you can do that very easily using width tool so this is the width tool and the shortcut key of width tool is shift w w for west virginia okay so let me use this width tool and now where you need to increase the radius suppose you need to increase the radius in here then you have to select the anchor and if you need to increase you can increase in this way but if you need to decrease you can decrease in this way okay so i'm keeping in this way and now instead of this straight opening and closing line i want to i want to make some changes okay did you see that i have a change the opening and close line as well as i'm doing the same things in here okay so you just seen that i have a squeezed at the at the, uh, the starting point and at the ending point so i have squeezed these two area and in here it seems uh, it seems some um extra extra large area and i want to i want to squeeze here a little as well as here okay so I hope you got the idea for squeezing or for enlarging in a specific area you can use this width tool okay now let me show you the use of verb tool but before that before showing the verb tool i need to create a rectangle shape and before that i need to delete this shape from here and i'm using this uh, verb tool this rectangle tool for drawing a rectangle shape and i want to use the fill color so as an example i want to use this blue color for fill color now i want to use the verb tool so you just have to use the right click for using the verb tool so this is my work tool and if you need to if you need to pull or push in any area in this shape in that case you can use this verb tool okay so let me push this area inside so you can see that i have pushed this area inside and let me pull this area here so you can see i'm pulling this area in here so for the top left area i have pushed this area and in bottom left area i have pulled this corner okay so not only specific for the corners you can you can push or pull in anywhere like let me let me pull here let me pull here once again and let me push here okay so i hope you got the idea how this uh, verb tool is working in adobe illustrator so again i'm repeating these things actually this uh, verb tool is applying for push and pull in any area or in any shape or any subject in adobe illustrator so let me select this one and let me delete it now we will learn about the twill tool and therefore i am taking a rectangle shape and if you right click with your mouse then you will have this twill tool and this tool uh, this tool will uh, will make some kind of uh, circles or you can consider these things as a spinning okay so let me show you okay so this part is got spinned here i got this in a spinned area so what do you have to do you just have to you just have to uh, place your mouse cursor and you have to place your mouse cursor and then you have to place the uh, left button so you can see that we got some uh, spinned area here okay okay so you just seen that uh, we have created some spinning area inside our shape and this is the output so for making some spinning effect you can use this twill tool in adobe illustrator 
So I'm selecting this one and I'm deleting this shapes. Now let me create an another shape for learning about the blow tool and pucker tool. So this is the rectangle tool and I want to I want to draw a shape. Now I want to use this pucker tool. Okay. So this pucker tool also using for pushing inside. So this is our uh, shape and if you need to push any area inside in that case you just have to place your mouse cursor at the path and then you can push inside. Okay. So you can see I pushed my shape inside. Okay, so what I exactly did that I pushed my entire space at inside and this is what we got. So for pushing inside, you can use this uh, pucker tool and for pulling in outside, in that case, you can use the blow tool. So let me select this one, let me delete it. Let me draw another shape and if you right click here you will have this blow tool and this blow tool can pull from inside out okay so let me pull here pull here pull here and pull here so you can pull at any angle with the use of blow tool so blow tool basically using for pulling at outside Hello dear students, right now we are going to learn about the scallop tool. Okay, so let me uh, let me draw a round circle. And then if you right click with your mouse, then you will have this scallop tool. Actually this scallop tool, crystallized tool and wrinklet tool are almost doing the same work. Okay, so let me let me show you the use of scallop tool. So if you need to, if you need to make some kind of spike in any path in that case you can use this scallop tool so let me use these things okay and if you need to create some kind of mountain effect in that case you can also use this scallop tool so let me use this uh, selection tool and you can see here is the output and now let me show you the crystallized tool so if you if you need to make some if you need to make some kind of splash in that case you can use this crystallized tool okay so let me um pull in here so you can see that i have created a splash here splash here okay so uh, for making some kind of this splash effect you can use this uh crystallized tool and let me delete these things and let me create a rectangle shape using the rectangle tool and now I want to use this wrinkled tool. This wrinkled tool will help you for making some kind of waves. Okay, so you can see if you need to create some kind of waves in that case, you can use it. Okay, so you can see that we have created some waves in here and this is the basic uses of a wrinkled tool in Adobe Illustrator. Hello dear students, right now we're going to learn about free transform tool. Actually this free transform tool and this selection tool almost have the similar uses. Uh, let me show you how these things is working and practically. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to take this rectangle tool for drawing a rectangle shape and let me uh, let me use this uh, pink color as my fill color and now let me use this free transform tool and the shortcut key is e e for elephant or england okay now if you need to increase or decrease the size in any sides you can do that very easily using this free transform tool and it's have three types okay so the first thing is for increasing or decreasing the area and if you if you need to if you need to squeeze any part in that case you have to select this area then you will be able to squeeze any area okay and 
if we use this third one in that case you will be able to make some kind of distort effect that means some kind of bending effect so you can pull or place in any angle so you can see but sometimes this is it's little tough to do with the selection tool so this is how you will use the free transform tool for making any shape in Adobe Illustrator.